<laughs> One, two, three. Oh. oh, gotcha for two. What's up, guys? We are here on board boat. Trying to play a game of basketball. I'm not very good at it. I should be. But uh, here with my man, we're going to give you guys a tour. This thing's insane. Helicopter out back, massive crane, double jet skis, probably one of the craziest yachts here in Miami this week during the Miami Yacht Show. 85 meters, 279 feet. We're gonna take a quick walk around aft. See the sign, this crazy view. Obviously, you've got a massive ship coming through right now. But if you ask me if I had a choice, massive ship, Super Yacht Bold, all day long. So here we are, on board Bold, aft deck. Lift system here that puts people in the water yeah, on the beach deck. Aft passerelle can act, can act as a uh, diving board as well. Yeah. Perfect. So, this Wait, is great. Who is this? I'm sorry. <laughs> You got Quick intro. <laughs> That's right. My name's Nick. I'm the chief officer on Nick, board. Nick, Bold. Chief officer on board Bold. I've been hanging out with him for the last two hours. We've just been too busy having fun walking around. Uh, he was cool enough to show some of my family members around, which was really nice. Absolutely. And um, yeah, so that's that. Taylor, by the way, is here with us behind the camera. Can't forget him. Tell me a little bit more about this aft deck. Well, Modi Yacht Bold, uh, obviously down in the aft here, we do have obviously a lot of hatches and whatnot, but this stern door where the Bold sign name is does open up and it gives us uh, direct ac access down into a beach club. And down in there, you've got things like your day head, you've got uh, your sun lounges and whatnot, but we've also got all the complements of uh, your diving gear, uh, dive compressors, 12 sets of scuba gear, uh, all your kite gear, your wakeboards, your surfboards, your sups, your sea bobs, you name it, we've got it, it's all in there. And then up on the main deck there, we've got obviously the jet skis and you're looking forward down into the tenders and down to the helicopter. Let's Absolutely. go check that out. Yeah. So we're coming up and as you come up, you guys will notice we have these real hold rod holders. So um, if you were fishing, you could put your rods in, do some trawling, Absolutely. big massive fishing boat for all you fishing fans, you guys like to fish. This thing's got the big things to hold your reels and catch the big ones. Have you guys ever caught any big fish? Uh, only a small uh, wahoo. Oh, and small that's it. wahoo. Yeah, that's absolutely. So we're, we're endeavoring to, uh, to catch more. Absolutely. Nice, yeah. nice. All right, so we're aft right now. Heli deck. Correct. Got double jet skis here. Sure. GTX 300s, limited Two, editions correct. with the 2019 model. Oh, uh, decked latest out. jet skis. The, the things are amazing. Fully certified heli deck here with a, de a value, a D value of 13. As you can see, the bulwarks are down now, so that opens up that heli deck completely. Um, and once we're finished with heli operations, we can raise those bulwarks, bring our tenders on, and away we go. So, Gusta 109, thing's absolutely beautiful. This crazy crane right here, from what I understand, is probably one of the biggest cranes on most, than most oh, yachts yeah, have, it's, right? It's definitely up there, absolutely. It looks like something out of Robocop. What can it lift? Uh, you've got a 13 meter reach and a seven ton lifting capacity. So that can reach all the way down aft back where we were on the stern door. This can reach all the way back yeah, there? Absolutely. So we lift all our 32, two 32 foot tenders uh, back on the main deck here and a smaller uh, 11 foot tender as well lives all here on the main deck. With That's awesome. So moving forward, under this basketball deck, we were just playing basketball and I think you were beating me. You had me up. Uh, oh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Eight <laughs> to two. So we'll, we'll give you that. Uh, we have a massive cutout. Yeah, so this doubles as a heli hanger. So we can actually take the uh, blades off that helicopter and wheel her right in. We raise the, the, raise the roof around about three or four feet. It clears the rotor head. We bring it right in, we can close it right up. No elements, no salt, nothing gets to it. And so we it keeps it. Cross. You can cross the Atlantic, cross the oceans, and it keeps Absolutely. it salt away. Absolutely. Ready to go for the next one. Sure. And when we're not doing that, obviously, as I said, it does double as a, like a disco area. We've got obviously a massive jumbo on there. We've got smoke machines, we've got speakers, we've got LED lights. So a massive area for you know your parties. I love it, I love crowds. it. And you can have up to what? 100, 200 guests out 200 here? 200 easy. So Absolutely. this is perfect. Wedding, ball, I, I don't know, you name it, you can do it out here. So moving forward, we are headed to the guest cabins. Correct. The and uh, we'll see where you would be staying if you were on board. Unless 
you're the guy who painted the building, you'd probably stay in the master, which we're gonna get to next. But first, let's check out these guest cabins. They are insane. Check out this hallway. How long, how long would you say that is? Oh, at least 25 meters. 25 meters. Yeah. It's like a bowling alley. So here we go to the guest rooms. First one is not on the left, but it is on the- Port side. Port side. So if anybody doesn't know, the way I remember port and left is four letter word. Port is four letter word and left is port. But I still screw it up every time. Those, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know, I don't do yeah. it enough. Anyway, all right. Guest room, um, after you. So yeah, we got four, four of these. Um, they're all identical. Um, so just the main guest cabins, and then we've got three VIP cabins uh, further up forward. But uh, this is one of them. As I said, all identical. All, all identical. All them, yeah. Massive vertical slant windows with the vertical slant in the middle. Gives you amazing view. You can yeah. just see just about anything, even if you're laying down or sitting in the bed. 43 inch, 42 inch televisions. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, I would say about 42. Because yeah. uh, moving forward, we've got uh, the, the VIP, VIP guest yeah, rooms. Three VIP cabins. So three it's... VIP. So remember, we have four guest rooms. Get this one here on the left here, on your right. And then you've got your three VIPs, which are substantially larger than your guest cabins. Um, they don't have the larger windows, but they've got definitely the, the volume and the size to- Wow. To These are great. Take a look. I love these portholes. These are great. Uh, is there a glass? There is a glass there. It looks it's so clean, it looks like you can put your hand to it. But uh, there's a glass here, there's a glass on the other side. Um, the rooms are really big. If you were here, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, uh, so you know how you have a new car scent? This is new yacht scent. It has that smell of a brand new yacht, right? There's, you can, if you know yachts, you know what? Right behind Taylor, you have another head, but it's a lot bigger. Walk-in shower with bench, two portholes looking out, and uh, his and her sinks, double sinks. These are my favorite shower floors where the water just kind of flows under you instead of puddling up. I love these floors. Rain shower, portholes. I don't know everything about yachts, but I know some of the creature comforts, right? And these are some of the things I know. Um, and that's pretty much it. Is there anything you want to throw in here? No, yeah, that, that's it, yeah. Just a huge, huge bathroom for the guests, absolutely. <laughs> So here we are in the bridge Absolutely. where the action happens. This sure. is where you control this bad boy. Full, full Atlas bridge, so completely paperless. Um, we're running full Furuno up here as well. Uh, we have obviously the twin MTU 4000s. Uh, we've got two electric bow thrusters. And uh, we've also got one hydraulic stern thruster. And we do also have, well, we don't have full dynamic positioning, but we do have heading control. So we can use that stern thruster to hold us um, a certain heading for letting the heli pilot uh, land on the aft deck or if the guests want to, you know, to face a bridge or face the cliffs or something like that, we can bring that stern and hold it in position. So yeah. everybody tells me this thing looks really, really tough. You know, Espin when we did an amazing job sure. with the design. And um, if you saw it outside in the ocean, in the wild, you would think it was a battleship. Yeah, you think it was. Let me ask you, are there any like missile defense <laughs> on here? Yeah, no? got, uh, one section of the big red buttons. No, 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 no. I know that was going to be a question. You know, you get these guys. Well, we, can, we can drive it from the chair. So you can drive from the chair. That's about as close as we get. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so if you want to check out these buttons over here, guys. You got the little ball like in the in the old school video games. Key it's start. To, you know, you're controlling the radars there, and then obviously on the left here, you're, just turns you're, you're controlling the rudders and, and your steering. Yeah. I think we've seen all we can see here. So. Time to move on to guest areas down to the loft in the winter garden. Winter garden. Let's go. So here we are in, what is this room called? It's the loft. The loft. Yes, loft. Now they were shooting for New York style, 
Carl was telling me, and I think they got it right on, Absolutely. right? Massive windows. Tell me more about what, where we are. What are, what are some of the this features? Is, like, the main main guest area, so 99% of the time, all the guests are in here entertaining and, and having fun. Obviously, you've got n another massive TV screen. You've got two feature flames on either side, port and starboard. And then looking aft, you're going down into the winter garden with a small bar on your starboard side there. But down into the winter garden, and that can be completely uh, cordoned off and can become an exterior. So it's all interior at the moment, but it can become an exterior. You open up all those glass panels. And uh, yeah, it just becomes an outdoor area. We're going to have the breeze across the deck. And a great place just for entertaining and, and having your meals, sitting down. In there as well, you've also got uh, a couple of other models. That's uh, Hull 6, which is currently in build. Um, and you can see where the heli hanger raises when we were talking about that earlier. So that raises up about three feet. We've got some cushions we can put in there. Um, and open this place right up for everyone. It's an absolutely sensational area for entertaining. I think you guys have gotten a little ahead there of yourselves. You go, you go. I, I was going to serve you something to drink. You looked a little thirsty. Uh, Taylor, do you want something? Yeah, here you go. No, no, You're think... just going to take the whole yeah. bottle? All right, well, then that's what you and I are just going to have to work on this. We got glass here. It folds back both sides. This room completely opens up. Correct, yeah. Give me some more details. What yeah, are we so else? You can open the glass right up. You can get a nice sea breeze straight across the deck here. Um, obviously it is air conditioned at the moment, but we do close that glass panel and it can become completely external. As we talked about earlier, the heli hanger, so th this may raise around about three feet when yep. the heli's uh, in its hanger. And we can put some cushions out there so it can become like a nice big sun or day bed, so to speak. But um, yeah, it can ultimately just become an exterior area for the guests. So this, I think is probably a great area to sit down, guests are coming aboard. Sure, absolutely great vantage point just to watch the helicopter come in, even the guys playing basketball. You want to sit up, sit up here, have a drink, watch the guys. You get hit with the yeah. ball. <laughs> All right, so I think this is the spot. You know, you can sit, watch in any weather, you know, and just keep Absolutely. an eye on what's going on outside. This yeah. is perfect. I love the big, big dining table. Our fresco dining That's with good. the windows open. It seats one, two, three, four, five, six, six twelve, fourteen. Fourteen people. Next time you guys have dinner here, I think we should come because we need to test this out. The viewers, they need to feel the experience. You know, sure. us eating here just for you guys. I'm gonna have to have a talk with Carl. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's what? go. Moving forward. Straight Mass. down to the master bedroom. This, is, this room is awesome. Now, I spoke to Carl earlier, and he told me this was supposed to be three rooms at one time. The original design oh, was for three rooms, and then they decided, no, we're gonna make it one massive, yeah, massive. Absolutely. Um, his and her bathroom up forward, and then as you can see, great vantage uh, from in the bed, looking out over the foredeck, um, almost you know 180 degree view as well. So forward-facing windows uh, out onto the foredeck in their bathrooms as well. I love it. So great spot. King size bed. I would say this is a California king. Screen TV, hers, his closets, right? right? More space back under here. Check out this bathroom. Massive window. You can look forward. The shower again, just absolutely amazing. And um, check that out, that thing is just beautiful, man. Marble throughout, massive. Now this is just her bathroom. And the uh, other bathroom is identical, except for one feature, right? Just above. Let's not forget that that window, that glass is open. Sure. So if you start to rock, <laughs> I know that's supposed to be closed, but I'm trying to get you guys through this. So in here we have his. Now his, I'm surprised that his is the one with the bathtub. Usually it's the other way. No, it is the other way. way. Oh, I got it wrong. Yeah. All right, so then this is definitely hers. And then his is on the other side. But if it was me, there'd be two bathtubs because I usually don't fit in them. But whenever I get a chance and there's a massive bathtub, I jump in. Oh my God, I fit in here. Look at this thing. This is great. Nice hot bath, chill. I think I wouldn't even TV in here though. I like watching TV. Anyway, another window to look out, enjoy the views while you're taking a bath, taking a shower. Massive bed, and uh, you know the routine. Don't do it. If there is a bed, <laughs> if there is a bed, we shall test it out and lay in it. Oh man, that's pretty comfortable. Have you slept in here yet? I haven't, no, absolutely. You're a liar. <laughs> I can see in your face you have, but we're going to say you haven't. 
We're gonna sweep that off, make it nice and clean for them. These guys do really hard work. And um, I gotta be honest, dude, if it wasn't for you guys, I say it all the time, there would be no yacht life. No, yeah, no. Crew, yeah. you can have the coolest yacht in the world, but if you don't have a great crew, yeah. it doesn't work. Absolutely. So, yeah. moving on. I know I can be somebody, be somebody, oh, in love. So we're going down to the engine room, and uh, we're gonna finally see some parts of the crew quarters. We don't usually like to impose because these guys are doing hard work, but we're gonna get to at least just swing through really quick. And we're going down where? Lobby. Down into the crew quarters. So we're gonna swing past the galley through some and past some crew cabins and then straight into the uh, forward plan room, down into the engine room. Now he said galley. Galley equals food. food. Food to me. So if we're lucky, we'll pick up a couple of steaks as we pass through and uh, maybe a couple of fillets. Lobster. There's a galley, all finished tonight. Yeah, I mean, these guys, they told me you guys were going to cook uh, with serpent turf. Yeah. No? <laughs> I guess not. No serpent turf for us. Thanks anyway. Hi. Have a good one. Nice Thank you. Alex, pleasure. I heard the food here has been amazing. Thank you very much. We'll see you around. All right. Yes. Headed uh, aft. Yeah, absolutely. Through past the doors. Just past crew cabins. I know you guys are always asking, can we check out the crew cabins? But again, man, these guys are doing hard work. I don't want to tell them, hey, clean up your room so we can go check out your room. It, it, it's a room, it's, you know, sure. you've seen the best rooms upstairs. These guys just have a place to sleep and um, it's pretty comfortable. Yeah, absolutely. It's pretty, pretty comfortable yeah. and keep going. Coming We're going to the, the engine room. Blunt room, there's gonna be a little bit of noise. It's from the, uh, getting the water. You guys want some emails? No, we're good. So back here we've got uh, desalinators. We've got uh, three ton capability, the AV-1 gas for the helicopter. So we can fill up our helicopters there. As I said, desalinators, fire, bilge pumps, everything else you need, and then moving back into the MTUs, the main engine room. Let's go. Come on out. Check it out. Fueling up the helicopter. So when you land, you don't gotta worry about going to the airport to fuel up. You do it right here from on board. Double MTUs. MTUs yeah. What are we looking at? The MTU 4000s. Um, so yeah, brand, well, brand new, brand spanking. Um, we go with obviously a cruising speed of 14, but uh, we can get up to a max speed of 24 knots. So uh, when she's going, she's humming. She's humming. Absolutely. Wow. This, this is amazing. For all you guys who are like engine heads, you'll know what you're looking at. For the guys who don't, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter, right? <laughs> um, but this is, this, is, this is what makes this baby go, man. This thing's just amazing. I'm assuming these are air conditioners? Uh, these are three generators. So generators? Three generators, yeah. Port, starboard, and, and central. Uh, wow. So it gives us all the power when we're uh, not on shore power. Not on shore. Yeah. Engineer's room. ECR. He yeah. can see everything in That's there. Right. That's it, guys. We're going to finish up. Taylor? Uh, <laughs> there's no other rooms? There are no other. How many more rooms do you want? What, what else is cool to show? Um. I, mean, I think we've been in every every room. I mean, you've been in all the guest cabins. Okay. You've been in the bridge. You've been in the uh, master. You're coming down to the engine room. We've got exterior decks now. So we got exterior uh, decks. What about where the toys are? In the garage. Well, that's well, a that's big all. Mess. That's all aft. That's where we keep our main tenders. But we've got the toy store. But that's just an absolute mess at the moment. Because of the rain. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Know, you know, you definitely want to get. Yeah. Yeah. So we we're not gonna go in there today because, like I said, there's it's pouring outside. We're not getting any video of the exterior shots too much okay because we're gonna come back tomorrow oh, perfect try in the galley crew mess get it stop the shooting <laughs> this is what we've been looking for the whole time yeah I the boys it. enjoy thank you we'll be back cool. so uh, crew lounge on the on the side here just more place for relaxation just crew office elevator stewardess's office Crew member going out for not. Hey, yeah, how you guys doing? How's it going? Yeah, good. These are all crew cabins. This hallway is incredible. Watch your head. And then into the laundry. Into the laundry. Yeah. And then this way? This going up goes to the freezer and to the toy store. And to the toy store. If you want oh. a little bit more impressive. <laughs> <laughs> little more space. Hi. We came to visit you. Oh, God. <laughs> so now we know where we're dropping our stop, stuff off tomorrow. We're not just coming to take more sh photos, but uh, this lady volunteered to wash our stuff. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Watch your again. What's that way? Going up there is to, up to the toy store. Cool. 
but we can't show it because it's a little bit messy at the moment just because of all the rain um, but it's absolutely packed with toys <laughs> sea bobs kayaks canoes wakeboards kiteboards next you name up. it absolutely next <laughs> yeah next up oh uh, this is just a oh, let me get my words right first um this is uh, time zero but this is a mirror image of what's up in the bridge so we can play this screen to any of the um, guest cabins or yep. crew cabins so we can always see where the boat is um, guests like to look at it every now and then just to see where we're going what we're passing when we're passing an island they know what we're passing so awesome it's just an information nav page yeah. all right so we are back obviously we've changed shirts but you guys are going to see a little mixed footage because yesterday was pouring Absolutely. Did not want to cooperate. No, I didn't do it. Torrential we, downpour. Torrential. <laughs> we, so we got all the interior stuff for you yesterday. It's sunny now. We're going to finish up with the exterior tour. And Nick, tell me where we are and what it is we're looking at. Sure. Now we're looking at uh, the bridge deck aft here. As you can see, an absolute massive outdoor entertainment area. Yep. So 99% of the time, all the guests are up here partying. We've got perfect vantage point, sunset downers, parties, all that kind of jazz. I love full, it. Full complement of the bar, fridge, freezers. Chicken, chicken rotisserie, tapenyaki. Must have it. Whatever you need, it's all there. We've got this the tunes, is... the speakers, all in the deckheads. Massive table, which is uh, actually modulated, so we can actually split that up into four separate tables and move the table. So you can have out. more people sitting there. You can have more people there, absolutely. Wow. That's exactly right. That's amazing. You got the big buffet Watch tables on the side? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we do have uh, overhead projector as well that comes out of the deckhead, and we can put a screen just here, so we can have another outdoor cinema. Another right. outdoor cinema. Yeah. Massive outdoor space here with a bimini top so if you want a sun you can if you just want to be in the shade you can do that as well in this case they have the bimini top up to keep people a little bit cool because the sun here is brutal what are we looking at how many people you think can stand and hang out comfortably we can have a party for about 50 people easy up here um, so plenty of space for the outdoor entertainment but it does double as a uh, touch and go or a storage stow the helicopter that we've got down on that main deck aft we can actually put that helicopter here we fold all the stainless down take the bimini obviously down and uh, we can land that chopper up, up here. Lands up here, lets you put your tenders up. up and on the aft. Yeah. Perfect. We got one more deck to get some more sun and for more people to hang out. Let's go check that out. All right, so welcome to the top. Almost there's still more yeah you got all the relaxation you want like taking up all the sun obviously the sun lounge is just here we've got a jacuzzi just behind us um a big outdoor area proud glass so no wind nice wind break break the wind and relaxing on the sun lounges yep. during the day and then at, by night we'll turn this into an outdoor cinema but overhead project coming out of the deckhead big Drops screen down. jacuzzi right there jumping girls beers crackers whatever, cheese. whatever you need all right. all right let's go we're gonna follow nick upstairs to the tippy top this is the top unless they go up there but i doubt it unless it's for maintenance this is another massive lounge area this whole boat is just open concept that's correct everything that's is a whole wide concept open. outside entertainment it's great activities great sundowners sunsets sunrises whatever you again massive seating area here for all the guests sundowners little feature flame feature flame um, that's what i was going to point out this is becoming a new thing right the fire pit this isn't just a fire pit Pull this out, becomes a massive cooler. Can do it. See that? I knew that. <laughs> Behind you, nice spot to do some. Yeah, just some small, another small dining area. Another small yeah. dining yeah. area. And um, check out this view, Taylor. This is it. They're working on the chopper downstairs. Um, we're about to take off. We are done. It's a wrap for us, right? last last of our shoot and um next time we're on board we'll be somewhere beautiful sign up for patreon if you want to become a channel producer link in description check out the super yacht shirts I mean, those things just came out they're really cool we've been getting a lot of great response from them and as well don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment below no matter what it is i mean we like the positive stuff but i know there's always a couple of guys out there who have something they have to say we love you anyway you hate we love all good, no worries. Till next time, thanks again for watching. See you soon from Onboard Bowl. So if you're like me, I love lights. 
she's got legs forward and aft and um, I like when the lights are all the way around but this is pretty sweet too I mean it depends the owner every each owner is different some yachts you'll get where the lights are all the way around the boat some yachts you'll get them where it's just on the aft deck some put them forward and aft. it's 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 I think it's a whole choice thing right whatever they want to do but bold insane I hope you guys enjoyed the tour um, this has been a lot of fun.